Hey guys, Kane born back with Conan Exiles. Today, unfortunately, I have a pretty major building bug to report, uh, but we've had a couple of great patches that ironed out most of the exploits and all of the garbage that was basically dragging the game down. This is just one little thing, uh, one little sour note amongst all the fun we've been having with the die system and the trebuchets and all of that. So, um, but I do want to get this out there because I'm hoping this gets fixed because it sets up a situation that is completely unfair uh, to people who aren't doing this. So I want to make sure that I get it out there. Now, I want to give full credit to Polar Bear Igloo, which is a very small new YouTuber. Um, also spells the name P-O-L-O-R, not P-O-L-A-R. Um, so I want to link his channel in the description. You'll be able to find it. He's the one who actually originally discovered this. Uh, but I want to get it out to the masses, make sure Funcom hears about it, get this out there for everyone to see. So um, what this situation is, is it is a bug in the building system that allows you to build uh, bases that can't really be knocked out from underneath. And I will be less vague than that in just a second, but I kind of want to show you without ruining everything. So, um, first, you go ahead and you take a foundation. You're going to want to start with like a sandstone foundation and put that down on the ground. Then, you're going to take some of these triangular foundations and build like so. This is going to create a gap between the foundations that's going to allow you to do something that is pretty unique and like I said, I think needs to be fixed right away. So, now that you've created this gap, you could go ahead and throw down another sandstone foundation. Now, you can see here the programmers at Funcom did a good job by saying these objects cannot overlap. When you turn it, it almost looks like you could do it, but you cannot because it still says it's overlapping. Okay, well, it looks like they caught it. Unfortunately, if you try a different tier, tier 2 or tier 3, it pops right down. So... You look at that and you say, well, big deal. You've kind of got an overlapping tile. I mean, it, it's kind of reminiscent if you guys, if any of you have ever played Rust, of double stacking your walls. In Conan, it doesn't seem like as big of a deal because even with a double stacked wall like that, I believe that you get bleed through damage with all the explosives and it would probably take out both of the uh, walls at the same time, but I would have to test that further. Uh, however, what happens that is unique is if you can get the proper angle here... You start building up on top of this with the sandstone and then you switch back to the tier two. Again, a little bit of fumbliness with, uh, you know, when you're trying to build up in the air like this. But once you get that going, here comes the problem. So now you've got a base built with a foundation like this. Well. First of all, you can remove this. It still remembers that it was stacked at some point. So you don't even need that extra layer anymore. Now here's where the unique thing happens. You take out this foundation below and it doesn't really matter. The other foundations believe that they're still uh, held up by something. You know, kind of like when you build off the side of a mountain. So now you've got a floating base. And as long as any of them were done that way, it still works. So now you've got a floating base, which is hard to get into. Well, you figure people are already hiding up on hills anyways. I'll just go and get the gods. Well, that's where this bad boy comes in. You can build a tower just like that that goes up and up and up and up and up and up. And it actually goes so high that the gods aren't going to be taken in, aren't going to be able to take it out. So let me go ahead and show you. I'm not going to bother with uh, set or with Mitra, because let's face it, Set and Mitra are not as powerful as Yogg. Yogg can't do it, nobody can. So all the way on top of this tower, I've got basically just a platform with a bed, and then a chest with my most valuable possessions, which in this case would be the coins that summon the gods, but it could be anything else. And of course, I've got a bed. I can have tons of stuff up here. I could have a full-fledged base if I want to. I could have thralls training. I could have, you know, literally anything under the sun. All my production going on up here. And I can always get back up here with a bed. And of course, even if somebody took out the bottom and the stairs and everything, it would be a pain to get back up here. But I could still spawn up here, jump down with the stuff, have friends waiting to get the gear. So it still becomes a, a uh, impenetrable stash spot. This sand here is really annoying. It's stupid. It's some kind of a bug that the higher you get up in the world, the sand starts following you up. So unfortunately, you can't see down. But I am all the way up on top of this tower. And just to prove that point real quick, we'll take the expressway down. So as you guys can see, I was definitely all the way on top of there. 
All right, so just to be fair to Mitra and to Set, we'll go ahead and knock out the bottom of this and show you what happens. So there you go. That's what Mitra and Yogg would be able to basically, or I'm sorry, Mitra and Set would be able to accomplish. But now we still have the rest of the tower to contend with because that's about as high as they're going to get. And maybe, uh, obviously, Mitra is a little bit taller. So we'll be fair there. But as you get up to the top here, you'll realize that Yogg has now hit his highest point. And all he's going to be able to do is that. So he can't go any higher, and he definitely can't take out this base at all. So this is an unraidable, unyoggable, uneny goddable or destructible base. This is an invincible sanctuary to hide all your goods, and there's nothing that anybody can do about it, including the almighty Yogg. So yeah, you don't have much of a base left, but you can definitely, and I could have kept building upwards, so... Definitely something that needs to get fixed ASAP and uh, very easy to do. And again, it, to me, it's just a broken component of the building system. So, um, Funcom, let's get this fixed. Thank you guys, as always, for checking out the channel. The growth has been tremendous. I can't believe how well things are going. I hope it continues to go well. I hope you guys continue to enjoy the videos. As always, I'll ask again, please like if you like the video, dislike if you don't like it. But more importantly, leave me a comment. Let me know what kind of stuff you guys want to see. I'm always happy to make a video based on your, just, uh, well, what you guys requested. And that just scared me really badly. Thank you guys. Have a good day.